So hopefully that is our 15 by 15 never portal completely done. So all we have to do now is press the button. Hopefully the wall will get pushed back. Brilliant. And then... Whoa. That shouldn't have happened. <laughs> is that a glitch? Is this supposed to happen? We just go through, I suppose. It should just be the never. Oh, whoa. My head, what is going on? Whoa. this place <laughs> okay yeah that is cool <laughs> oh that's so smooth about doing it in the edit I oh, love it <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Yay! As you probably guessed from that very silly intro, today we are doing Java. Why? <laughs> now that's not because I'm doing a tutorial, no, don't worry. <laughs> I'm doing Java because of you guys. It just seems that you guys like my pain for some obscene reason. <laughs> Parkour, you like it when I fail. You like it when I fail on my videos, when I make a mistake. So uh, yeah, I thought I would give you the ultimate pain. <laughs> Me trying to do Java. Now, confession time. I have actually built stuff in Java before, but it was such a long time ago, I won't be able to remember a single thing. So don't worry. You've got to remember for the last three or four years, I've been doing solely bedrock edition. So Java, it's like a foreign language to me, honestly. <laughs> and that is a width. I've just noticed that my feet go into the block and they say bedrock is bugged. Mm. So in this video, we're not going to be doing anything groundbreaking, okay? We are literally just going to try, and that is the key word, try to do some Java Restone. This could get ugly Aww. really quickly. Oh yeah, and thank you to everyone who actually suggested this video. I've been putting it off for ages, so uh, <laughs> thank you for being patient. <laughs> so as lovely as the scenery is, I think it's time to get into a proper Restone testing world. Yep, that's what I'm going to be feeling. <laughs> okay. What to build first? Okay, let's start with a simple Jeb door. Now, I think I know how to build a Jeb door in Java. I think. <laughs> so you have the pistons at the side like that. That's fine. And then I think all you do is run blocks like that. Dust here. That is weird, isn't it? That dust actually makes a sound. Doesn't do that in Bedrock. Very strange. <laughs> now, repeat here. I presume on two ticks because Java is so much faster. Does that work? How does that work? That does not make any sense to me. How are these pistons pa powering? What is powering them? Oh, it's quasi-connectivity, isn't it? Or quasi-connectivity. That is just weird. So then if you want to do it on the other side, that's really simple then, isn't it? You just... Why is that one getting powered? Oh, doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh, no. Started... Why do these not go the way I want them to? Thank you. Right. Like that. Repeater on two ticks, dust and dust and dust. Why wow, that is so simple. Also, I hate how you move. You kind of float, that you spin and you keep going. Oh, it's so annoying. Ooh. No, I hate it. <laughs> this one makes sense. The only thing that doesn't make sense is how these are getting powered. That is just a little odd. <laughs> let's move on to, let's just try a double piston extender. Now I know the easiest bedrock piston extender that i've made is this one here like that dust dust and a repeat on two ticks does this work oh it does so that works for every single platform oh that's cool so this one i can understand why that works block powering powering the dust two ticks later powers this dust powers this block this, this. That's simple. Okay, how about a vertical one then? Um, now, I think I've seen some really strange vertical piston extenders, like literally this. 
No, that can't work. No. <laughs> okay, no, no. That would be obscene if that worked. <laughs> that would be crazy if that had worked. Um, um, um. I mean, I would do it normally. I'd do it like this, you see. Good. Then I might have an observer block. Ah. Uh, does a hopper get powered like that? No? Is that getting powered at all? Wait a sec. Oh, it is. It's just too quick. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. So let's use a redstone lamp. Does that work? No, that's too quick as well. Brilliant. <laughs> um, Use another observer. Aha, that works. Brilliant. And then another observer facing up here. A block and maybe a torch. This is going to be harder than I thought. No, I'm, I'm very confused right now. I know some of you are going to be screaming at me because <laughs> you play Java. You're going to hate this. So how long does the delay have to be? Because I could always use a repeater here. Okay, that works. You know what? My first attempt, that's not too bad. And for me not understanding at all, <laughs> that's not too bad. Okay, I wonder if I invert it slightly. I don't mean the piston extender. What if I invert the way I work it? So I actually power the block up here with the lever. Good. Then if I have an observer facing downward, that's not going to get powered, that observer, right? Yeah, good. If I use dust here, does that work? What? Our observer's not transparent in Java, or is that the quasi connectivity? Oh, it's so confusing. No, that doesn't make any sense. Why does that do that for? <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Let's try this with a resident lamp up here. Hey, that works. Then all I have to do is power this block again. So how do I do that? Oh, I don't know. How, how, do, I, how do I do that? <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to go mad. What if I just do this? What happens now? No. I've got to go underneath it, haven't I, again? Oh, that's a shame. Something like that? No? An observer doesn't unpower a torch. What? And why is it doing that? <laughs> this does not make any sense to me. Hey, that works. Hey, that works nicely. It's not, it's not, it's not flush with the floor. You have to have a block here. Oh, that's a shame. I wonder if I can. I wonder if I can keep it this small. Um. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Just had an idea. Does that work? No, of course it doesn't. Why would that work? <laughs> this quasi connectivity stuff is weird. Like that is properly weird. I think we should give up on that one for now. <laughs> ah, all right, let's move on, let's move on. So if you struggled with a simple double piston extender, what's the obvious progression? Well, it's obviously, let's try a three by three. <laughs> This is going to go terribly. So I'm presuming the um, layout is the same. I think it is anyway. So something like that. So firstly, what we have to do is fire this bottom one. And then we can fire the top one, can't we? Because of the um, the pistons spitting out their blocks. Oh, if I just do this, what happens? Perfect. I need that to happen, then this one to spit out its block. So let's put another observer like that. Maybe use a redstone lamp? What do you, th what do you think? <laughs> That's going to now fire that one first, then this one, hopefully. Brilliant. Okay. 
Ah. Oh. It's too quick. Fair enough. So let's then use a repeater to slow it down. How about this? Brilliant. And at the same time, of course, then we need to fire that. <laughs> Wait a second. Do repeaters activate observers when they're on them? I hope so, because if they do, this might work. No. So that thing earlier was quasi connectivity. It wasn't an observer. It's not a full block. Fair enough. That makes sense. Does it make sense? No, not really. Some of you may be wondering why I'm trying to do it in a one wide thing. It's because it's so easy to do it in a one wide area in Java. So it should be easy. <laughs> it should be easy. Why is it doing that? That's too fast. Slow down. Oh. Oh, of course, that's why it's doing that, you spoon. Yes, because normally in a bedrock one, you fire this one very briefly first. So it pushes this one up and then down. But of course, in Java, that doesn't happen. Yes, that's why. That was painful. Right, so you got to do something like that. You have to use... Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah? No. Right, will that work? That looked like it worked. It's getting powered. Why are you not powering? That's weird. Is there a way I can jolt it? If I fire a, a pulse into it underneath, will it jolt it into action? Because look, that's not working. If I just literally just do this. Yes, it does. Okay. So then I can use another observer to trick it, right? Am I right? <laughs> Probably not. Right. Ready? That's it. That's not it. I wonder if it'll help if I use obsidian here. Like that. Of course. That's now Piston's trying to fire, but it doesn't think it can until I update it. Yeah, that, that's a really odd tech. A really odd mechanic, isn't it? Oh, wow. This is hard. This is much harder than I thought it was going to be. Tell you what, I might just try and keep it too wide because I don't think there's one wide stuff is helping me out. Let's just try too wide and see how it goes. Finally. <laughs> finally. No, not finally. No. Oh, I thought I had it. That's so disappointing. Right. No, that's it. Too wide. This is this is going this is me driving me mad. Right. Right, 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 right. So. Bang, then this one. That's fine. I can still do this, can't I? Good. Then this one again, I suppose. Yeah. Can I just do a block like that? Well, that works. And then maybe another bit of dust here with an observer coming away from that repeater. Okay, too quick. That's fine. Uh, let's have another repeater then on fourth of delay. Okay, that works. Perfect. So now I've got to power all these things up here. Now, if I remember, if I'm right, this should work. Oh, it doesn't work. Why doesn't that work? Oh, because of that one. Right. It feels like I've been staring at this for at least 10 minutes now. Okay, that's good. And then all I have to do is this goes after. That's fine. So if I do something like... 
That repeats in four takes, right? Great. So if I take this, I'm getting excited, <laughs> and take it away, and have it on four. That works, right? No! Oh, I thought I had it. That is so disappointing because, of course, it's going to fire this one as well. And that's going to do the opposite to this one. This one's going to pull in. That one's going to push out. No! I was so close. Um, I'm not so sure how to get around this problem, to be fair. Yeah, I generally don't know how to do this now. <sighs> I don't want to admit how long this has taken me. <laughs> I've moved it off the ground a little bit just to make it slightly easier because I was ending up digging into the ground and that was never good. <laughs> so I just don't get this bit. Really, really struggling here. You know what? I'm going to make this super simple. I'm just going to try and make it as simple as I can do. I don't know why I'm trying to go super small when I can't even do a simple piston extender, for goodness sake. Right. No? Okay. Ah, there we are. Well, that's just annoying. <laughs> no. Ah, not quite. Brilliant. What? Ooh. 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 <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> why? <laughs> oh, have I done it now? Finally. No, of course I haven't. <laughs> Now I've had that. Good. That's okay. Um, no, it's not okay. Yes, it is okay. I can just do that, surely. Oh, wait, do I even need that? Just repeat here on four ticks and dust. Yay, that's it. And I've just thought, how am I going to do anything over here? <laughs> oh, wait, if I just do that, will that power that piston? Oh, brilliant, it does. Fantastic. So, right, that's good. So then dust goes here. Oh, we're getting someplace now. Okay, um, looks like this. That works, yeah, good. Brilliant. All right, now, okay, we're getting someplace. Okay, piston goes down here, of course, and then piston's on this side. Going in, one, two, whoops. Three. Um, of course, of course, it can't go on top of it, can it? So I've got to do that. Oh no! Of course, it's too wide. I can do this. <laughs> on. Off. On. Off. Brilliant. <laughs> okay. Now all we have to do is do the double piston extraction. I think I can do that. So, um, take a observer from there. Does that work? Right. Um. <laughs> this is gonna. This is gonna be horrendous. Okay. This is gonna be absolutely horrendous. I think this just shows how different redstone is. Yeah. Can't do that. Right. Be smart. Be smart about this. So if I have a piston going downward with the observer, that's nice and easy. I can work from that. Okay. It gets dragged back up. So I need then have a, the dust or the repeater here into a block. If I have the repeater on 4 tick delay, would, is that enough time to power this as this one down here gets extended? That is the question. So if I place dust here, maybe something like an observer here, how is this one going to get powered? Maybe a dropper or a hopper? Did the hopper work last time? I can't remember. Something like that. <gasps> and then all I have to do is power into here. So oh, I can't use I can't use the repeater, can I? Yes, I can. I repeat it on four ticks delay. Like that. No. <laughs> of course not. That'd be far too easy. 
That's not going to work, no? Yeah? No! So close! I'm so close. This is the most ugly 3x3 I've ever made, but I do not care. <laughs> I simply do not care. Oh! <gasps> it's got an idea. Just like that. That repeater is on four ticks. This is so bad. Like This red zone is horrible. Is that repeater? There it is. I have a repeater going like that. So that one is going to power into this observer, which is going to power um into another observer, I suppose. Another one, another one going up. Like that. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh my word, that is the most hideous mess I've ever made. <laughs> Look at this thing, it's disgusting. so fast though and that's just because it's better uh, java edition just java is so fast this type of thing oh it's disgusting it's such a horrible door but it works i have finally made a three by three in java i'd love to try again and to see how small i can make it because this obviously is not nowhere near up to standard i'd love to try and get it one wide or at least remove these blocks here and these blocks here at least but for my first go, I think that's pretty good, don't you think? Yeah. Right, what we got next? I'm going to try a downward piston extender. Let's go back to something a bit easier again. I think uh, a 3x3 was just on the edge of my skill level in Java. <laughs> yeah, that works. It's definitely not the smallest because it's hideous, but it works. The problem with Java for me is just the quasi cat negativity side. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but does this work? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense to me. Why does that do that? It's like it's powering it, but it's not powering it. Then I update it and it goes, oh, I am powering it. But that one's not. Fair enough. So I think the real question of the day is, um, am I going to be switching to Java anytime soon? And the answer is, no, are you mad? <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not going to be switching to Java anytime soon. I definitely prefer Bedrock. Makes far more sense to me. <laughs> this is crazy. Sorry if you didn't really learn anything in this video. This was not a learning video. This was literally just laughing at me trying to do Java because it's so painful. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give us a like. And if you really loved it, make sure you subscribe with our wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. Anyway, I'll catch you guys next one and I'll see you later. Bye.